Hey guys, so it is Sunday, November, Sunday 28th. Um, it is last week of NaNo, and this is the beginning of this week's vlog. So this week will be the last weekly vlog I do. And, um, will be a half and half, obviously, because we only have three more days left of NaNo or November, and then December starts. So, um, yeah, I worked yesterday. I think for the most part, I'm better. Uh, my nose is not as drippy. I slept well. I don't think I woke up coughing all that much. Um, my husband confirmed that, um, that he thinks so too. The th downside is this. <laughs> I've coughed so much and I cough harshly that I have hurt my voice, my throat. <clears throat> so I kind of go in and out. <laughs> Ironically, with the masks from work yesterday, you couldn't tell my voice was raspy unless I took the mask off because um, my voice is so muffled anyways with the mask. Um, because I wore the N95 pretty much all night because I had a full team of COVID patients. Um, all patients that were unvaccinated on huge amounts of oxygen. And one of them we had to send to the ICU and two of them were so confused because they were so hypoxic, which is, which means your bloodstream, like your body is low in oxygen. They are taking in a huge amount of oxygen, but their body's not sustaining oxygen um, very well. And both of them were so confused. They kept taking off their oxygen um, devices. <clears throat> He's satting very quickly and one of them almost died because he just took stuff off. Um, so <clears throat> here's your PSA. Get your shots. Get your boosters. Because it's not a political thing. It's about your life and other people's lives. And if you're going to use religious reasons, yeah, God gave you free will, but also God gave you a brain. And he doesn't want you to be stupid. But okay, so I drank some tea. Hopefully my voice gets a little bit better. Um, so Friday, I did an end clip and ended the video. Or the vlog ended up going out on Saturday because I was uploading, yeah, uploading Saturday's video for the second channel. And, um... It was a Halloween special, so it was really long, so it actually took longer than I thought, which meant I couldn't get the last clip into the vlog, and I couldn't format it and upload it. So I uploaded it really quickly on Saturday, so it went out on Saturday evening. Um, it was really short. It was two clips. Everything, it was 25 minutes or something like that, like one of my shorter videos. So I did that and um, that's it. I felt kind of lazy today. Mm, I overslept a little bit, which is really not much, uh, being that I have such a short window to sleep. <laughs> I actually fell asleep in my car after I had parked in the parking space. I took a minute to be like, oh, okay, we got to get out. And then apparently that minute, was enough time for me to fall asleep. I don't even know how long I was asleep in the car. Um, but yeah. Um, and yeah, I took out some Christmas decorations. You can see some here, some stuffed animals that I haven't decided where I'm going to put. Um, they were gifts from my mother-in-law, uh, to me and my husband, uh, the bow that I'll We'll keep there. I don't know. I want to put something here because uh, this is also in view of the camera and it's so empty. It's empty always, but I feel like it's holidays. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna put there, if I'm gonna put anything there. Um, we'll see. Um, but so I took out some decorations, uh, because I also need to film uh the unboxing for the stickers for December, being that it's now so super really close. Um and then I'm supposed to stream. And I think I am going to stream, but what it's going to do is it's going to be like hardcore just sprints. A, because I'm behind, and B, the less I talk is probably the best. So we're going to do a minimal talking stream, mostly just sprint, 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 sprint. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm also thinking, depending, I have to make uh, our meal for the week because um, we already ate through most of our thanksgiving leftovers that my parents gave us <laughs> so um i have to make a um, meal for the week uh and then depending on how long that takes me i think i'm and i filmed the video the tiktok video i uh might go live early and end early being that i have to wake up extra early because it's dad's uh treatment week so I have to wake up extra early to go get him, uh, get my mom, take her to work, get my dad to um, the doctor's office and all that. I also have to find time to go to work and talk to them about um, some stuff that they effed up. Um, but yeah, so Monday might be really busy, but we'll see happens so that's really it for today plan for today the outlook of how the week might seem um we'll see i, I like i said i had to take out some decorations but it was really just to take the video i uh, we're not going to put our tree up probably until uh next week because even though I come home early, it's because I wake up early and I'm extremely exhausted. Um, and I don't usually stay up very late with my husband. So, uh, we probably won't do it this week. We'll probably do it next week when we put the tree up. And when I do that, I will, um, show you guys video of, uh, the parts of the dream making process but um it's next that will be next vlog and that will be longer like i said after this week's vlog is done we'll go back to two videos a month i think is what i'm gonna just do and then the random check-ins and maybe i'll try and put more b-roll in but uh yeah that's it <laughs> that's it for now i will see you later in the week Bye. hey guys so it's Dolores again and uh, it is december um friday december 3rd uh and it's camp camp has ended um so to make my life easier this is going to be my end of camp uh, uh video also um so End of vlog, end of camp video, all that jazz. Uh, and I wanted to film this earlier, but being that it was dad's treatment week and it was an interesting week, <laughs> um, and dad wasn't feeling good, uh, especially in the middle of it. So, um, I didn't get to film this right away. Um, but also I hope the lighting is okay because I can't really see the camera. But last time I did this, it was good. So, <clears throat> I had my stream on Monday. And um, I had the closing scene left to do. and Or the closing chapter-ish scene. No, I guess it was a couple scenes. So, I guess closing chapter. And um, epilogue. And I finished. I finished by the end of the stream. Um, 
I finished before we did the closing 10 minute end of night sprint. Uh, and it was great. It was, I was so happy. I was so excited. I wish I had, um, I wish I had filmed right afterwards, but, um, yeah, I, I finished. I was so excited. So happy. I kind of had that relief of like, uh, I keep explaining it this way and I don't know what how else better to explain it, but kind of like when you finally go to the restroom <clears throat> and like after you've been like holding it for a long time and then you relieved and you're just like, oh, this feels good. Or I don't know. Oh, I guess maybe like if you find like you're freezing cold and you finally have like a warm drink or a cold drink, vice versa. I don't know. But um, yeah. I was so happy. I was so excited. I finished the book. It, it was, it was, it was nice. Yeah, it, it was good. Um, Saturday I had killed off that final character and I almost cried, but did it. I just kind of teared up a little bit. But no crying on stream. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. So, uh, that was really my, I'm going to say medium goal because my soft goal had been to finish by July camp, by the summer. And that didn't happen, obviously. Um, and then my hard goal was to be done by the end of the year. But really, I had made like a mini goal of wanting to finish um, by the end of camp or end of nano because <clears throat> I thought that would be great. It would be um, very like round and symbolic because I started writing this a couple nanos ago or one an year ago I don't know I should probably look um I don't have it with me uh when I first started writing this but um But yeah, so uh, so that was done. I so I consider and I didn't fill anything out for uh, Nano on like the official website. This is the first time I didn't do it uh, because the last time I tried in April to measure word count, it was a disaster and made me stressed. And I just decided I'm never going to count words if I can absolutely 100% help it. Um, so I'll never get that like screen of like you won camp but it's fine uh maybe when i edit maybe i don't know but um so i counted as i won camp or not camp i keep wanting to call it camp i won nano because i finished my book um i finished it i wrote it down here i finished so the the zero draft of the princess and the warrior uh, finished at 93,627 words. Now, a lot of those words are random words. Um, there's a lot of brackets in there, mostly for names. When I wasn't sure what to call somebody, um, there's uh, some names of people that, as the story progressed, became a bigger character. And I was like, okay, I can't just absentmindedly label this person i need to have a name for them um some names for animals i want to give uh so i did a lot of brackets for those uh there's a couple of words where i'm like i don't know if i want to say it this way like in our tone i kind of want to make up like there was um i think it was like a slur or like a cuss word and i was just like i don't want to use a cuss word from us i want to use a cuss word that would make sense in the world um because i know it's a hot topic and a lot of people are like iffy about cuss words i like make up cuss, cuss words as long as they're kind of mixed in with like non-cuss words and our uh, uh, fantasy cuss words and then our cuss words i think it's if it's a nice mix like i like frack i love frack all the time especially when my mom didn't realize what it was until my dad finally told her um but um yeah so 
Uh, there's a lot of those where it's just brackets of I need to figure out um, names and words. And then I know that <clears throat> there's going to be sections of the book where I skimped on description and focused on dialogue. So I need to fix that most likely too. But you know what? Um, we'll see. It, that's why it's a zero draft. The whole point is I can't get bogged down by the nitty gritty and then also most likely fall into a spiral of 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 my um, disability torturing me with my dyslexia and trying to uh, tell me that I can't write because uh, it's happened before where if I have a lot of mistakes in something, I just consider it all garbage and I'm like, well, well I just can't write because I can't spell. I can't do this. can't do that. So I didn't want to do that and cause myself not to be able to finish the book. So I, I said this in a past vlog too, that I decided, nope, this is just going to be a zero job. I need to just write it out. I need to just get it on the page and then I'll deal with all of that later. Um, and yeah, and so I did that. And I'm just going to follow that idea um, until it's not suitable <laughs> anymore. Um, but um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was that. I'm leaving the book for like about two months to rest for two reasons. One is everyone says rest is good, even though once you get published and you have contracts and deadlines, heart, like real deadlines, um, you can't always do that, but um, um, I'm fine with that right now. I think I can take advantage of that. I'm going to do that. And then the second reason is that I have, um, I have a secret project that I am doing uh, that I want to have ready and done by March. Now, um, if you want to know about what this project, if, well, actually, whenever it goes out, if I can't get it out by March, then um, it will just come out later in the year. But my goal is March. Uh, <coughs> if you want to know more about the project first, uh, my people who follow follow slash become members of my Kofi will find out about secret secret project first um and find out more information about the secret project and will most likely get access to it first uh, before i release it to everybody else so if you're interested in that um the link for my kofi is down below um if you are interested in following to get more information about the secret project or to even um you know donate to me that's whatever uh, you would like to do, but um, I have so I want to focus on that. So that's why I'm going to put off doing any major writing um, or revisit rather <laughs> revising um, off uh, for two months. And I might even push it a little bit more so that I have February clear as well. Um, but I'm not going to stop writing. So besides this secret project I'm doing, I'm also going to catch up on all the little stories uh, that I started on my website that revolve around the games that I'm playing. I'm going to catch up on those, possibly get on the head on some of them if I can um, to a certain degree. And what I'm also going to do is the ones on the website are already on the website. Um, what I might do is put them up um, for members only on my Kofi first for um, for a certain amount of time. I haven't decided, and then um, then I will post it on the website to the public because um, I feel like I don't really have much uh, to attract members as of yet. So what I'm thinking, I'm really bad at planning too far ahead or like scheduling things too far ahead. So uh, what I'm wanting to do Kofi wise or, or coffee wise, whatever, however you call it, uh, is that I think I'm going to try and post certain things to Kofi first and then members will have access 
to those things before they get published on the website, before they get published on like YouTube uh, or things like that. So, <clears throat> and I need to figure out if I can post videos to YouTube. I mean, videos to Kofi from YouTube first. And I think what I need to do is upload it, put it as private, and then you guys can see it and then schedule it out. And that will take access away, I think. Um, I was trying to experiment with a particular video, with a Thanksgiving video, and I don't think it worked, but I don't um, have too many people I can ask to like beta test it for me. So we'll see. It's it's a, it's a trial and error thing. But um, so I was able to do that and I was able to keep up with my the semi with my streaming schedule to a certain degree. I had a feeling that Tuesday and Wednesday, I just either wasn't going to feel like streaming or that it just wasn't going to be possible to stream. And that is exactly what happened. So I have, it's going to be backwards for you guys. Um, but I have my planner here and you can see I have stickers all at the ends of the monthly spread because I was able to stream um on Sundays and Mondays and then Tuesdays some Fridays um and and it and that was fine it worked out because I work every Saturday I occasionally work the Fridays um but yeah so and I I did enjoy this idea of an extra day and I was making Friday the extra day but it's hard to do that if I need to work so um <clears throat> the new schedule, which is up on the Kofi and website and everything, is um and on the social media links for December is going to be Mondays and Thursdays like normal, where I rotate um writing and gaming, writing and gaming. And then on Sundays it will be a random stream day. Um, and also random in the sense of I may not stream every Sunday because it depends on what I need to do. If I need to film a lot, if I need to, um, do a lot of editing, if I need to do a lot of administration, like if I need to catch up on a lot of things, then I probably won't stream. But if I don't have too much, or honestly, I don't want to, if I want to use it as an excuse, then I can just stream on Sunday for long stream or short stream it will depend so Sundays will be the random day of I may or may not uh also to plug in the social medias the only way you'll know if I'm streaming on Sundays will be if you follow my Twitter and my Instagram so um that is kind of how the month kind of went in nano and um yeah but that was that was it. I I grew a lot actually in all my social media accounts except for my newsletter which I don't plug as much um because I feel like I'm just kind of use Kofi right now as like a mini newsletter um that's still a thought I'm still debating. And then um my Kofi didn't grow yet, but it's a newer thing that I'm still figuring out how to push. But I think if I'm going to start putting pre things up on there, that might be a good way to push at least people to follow. Maybe not necessarily be members because um, I don't have any members right now. Um, but just to follow would be um, nice as well. Nice as well. Because I do follow a lot of people on Kofi, but I haven't donated to everyone that I follow. Um, mostly because I just don't have the ability to donate to everybody. <clears throat> so yeah that is that's really um um i don't know what i'm saying that's really all that is for now um and now that it's december i am working on trying to set up the office to do more christmasy stuff um to bring up the tree again Last time I put it in a spot where the camera could not see it or even the streaming camera. And I don't think I can still put it in a place for the streaming camera to see because it'd have to be behind me. Um, 
so I don't think I'm going to do that, but I think I have an idea for at least the vlogging camera um, can see the video. I mean, see the footage without me having to like go at a different angle and move my ring light, which is not very movable um, or like conveniently movable. So I'm moving around for Christmas and um, just trying to kind of set up for that. But um, we will be going back to what I was trying to do in October, which I sort of did uh, and was debating about in August about going back to the two vlogs a month. But they're more like what this has become, uh, what Nano for sure became where like I pop in uh, whenever I have something to say, whenever I can. So they're not rushed car vlogs all the time. Because I feel like for a while there, uh, it was just all, especially in like July and June, it was almost completely car vlogs. And I don't like that. I don't like the angle. The audio is crap in the car. Um, so this just is how it's going to be. <coughs> Uh, where I pop in when I want to so I can pick a space to do it, whether it's here at my parents' house outside, um, a quick check-in inside if it's something really quick that I'm afraid I'm going to forget, or at home, um, set up, you know, staged nicely-ish. Uh, <laughs> so that's what it's going to be. So I'll have less clips. At minimum, it will have a beginning clip on a Sunday and an end clip like now uh so uh that's that and that will free me up to doing other which is what i was having a hard time incorporating um getting back into tags uh there's a bunch of other video ideas that i want to do that uh are writing or have or uh, trying to tie writing and gaming more in um that idea of storytelling and and how you create a world through stories so uh, that will give me more space in my calendar where I can continue to just publish everything at the end of the month or week, which is easier for me. Um, and it would it would just be like a writing video one week and then a vlog next week, writing video one week, vlog next week. Uh, and we'll continue with on the second channel, uploading my VODs and still catching up on Minecraft videos and the country living videos uh in between those i might sporadically upload onto that channel to catch up with those because i don't want to get behind on the most recent content like i have been doing pokemon shining pearl and i want to get those videos up before they're too old and that's just i'm chronically behind on that so <clears throat> the that will continue for sure to go up on sunday I mean, Saturday with the most recent um, uploads. And then there might be sporadic uploads on that channel afterwards. And I've also tied in the older brother challenge in the sense of like, I've liked the playlist and brought it over. Also liked the playlist. I created a playlist for the writing sprints over on this main channel to tie into the other channel so that you can see it from there. Uh, and then Sundays will continue to be uh, gaming days. I have finished the last of the Pokemon Snap videos where I roughly-ish edited it. Edited it? That's still such a weird word. Uh, and then after that, uh, I'm going to do the um, Pokemon Shining Pearl videos up on um the main channel of this one as well those i'm hoping i can figure out a way to get them even more edited down to at least again like 45 minutes um at a time um but i don't know i don't know and um yeah so we'll see how that works. I'm still debating on Minecraft. Let me know if you're interested in watching my Minecraft play, which is kind of just random and fun. 
It's definitely not created for the website here. I mean, the channel here at all. Um, uh, but if you're not, that's fine. At one point, I'll put um, a Minecraft episode up on here. And um, yeah, that's really it. That's really the end of the month update, closing, end of camp. Or not camp. I keep saying camp. End of nano, beginning of December. And um, yeah. So next week will not be a vlog. Uh, it will be a video. I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna finally do uh, Moon's tag that she tagged me in a long time ago now. Um, so that will be going up. And um, yeah, that's really it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in any of this chaos plans as my chaotic world will continue, um, hit the subscribe button, follow me on all the socials and, um, and I will see you next time if you choose to do that, because this is how I choose to share my story while I'm writing other stories because we all are storytellers and tell our own story. And yeah, if you're interested have any questions leave all that down below you have nothing to tell me but want to let me know that you were here leave a salute down below and if you're also interested in the stickers i have an affiliate that we're on the uh, planner there is an affiliate link down below they're from the stick together monthly subscription uh that mandy lynn does They're uh, the stickers that Mandy Lynn does. I have an affiliate link down below. I also have a discount code to get 10% off. You can feel free to use those as you wish down below if you want to get these amazing stickers. I will be having a uh, short unboxing up of the December stickers, which are penguins. I love penguins. Um, but um, yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thank you again, like I said. Uh, and yeah, I will see you next time. Hill Stories and Prosper. Bye.